Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today we are putting the new Isamaya Industrial 2.0 palette to the test. You know, you know I was obsessed with the first Industrial palette, absolutely obsessed, still to this day one of my all-time favourite palettes. So, uh, you knew I was picking up the second one. Now, if you have caught one of my eyeshadow palette reviews before, we are definitely doing in-depth swatches, so a full arm individual hand swatches. And I am actually going to compare quite a few of these shades to special shades in my Pat McGrath Labs collection that I think are actually very, very similar. So if that all sounds interesting to you guys, go ahead and do the YouTube -y things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. This is the new Isamaya Beauty Industrial 2.0 eyeshadow palette. I am so excited to dip into this eyeshadow palette. Now, if you have been around my channel before, you know that I am a massive lover of the original industrial palette this color story is inspiring to me and i have created some of my all-time favorite looks using this eyeshadow palette i adore this eyeshadow palette like intensely adore this eyeshadow palette the packaging for these two just as a side note exactly the same packaging this is just in a silver shiny packaging so if you do like this, you'll like the silver one. If you don't like this, you won't like it. Let's go over the details of this palette, shall we? The cost is 115 USD and I believe I paid 155 Australian. I got mine off Selfridges, so you can either pick this up on the Isamaya website or Selfridges. They are the only place. Oh, and also Moda Operandi. You can, I'm pretty sure it is. You can pick that up off, pick this up off there as well. I will have this palette and everything I use on my face and everything today linked down in the description box below. They are affiliate links. So thank you so much if you do use them. This is the outer carton that the packaging comes in. It has all the ingredients of the eyeshadow on the back. The um, palette or the eyeshadow, sorry, are made in Italy and it has a 12 month expiry. And then this is the uh, stunning palette. Listen, I love the shininess and I love the silver, but damn the fingerprints. But, you know, small price to pay. It's very, very beautiful. You also get all of the shade names and everything on the back. But what you really want to see is the inside. Look at her. Wowie. Now I am going to do that annoying thing where I say all the time that I can assure you camera photos online does not do this justice. You have to see this in person to understand what is special about this palette because holy dooly. So I liken this to, you know, the Natasha Denona glam face palette. And when you see that in person, the way that those shadows sit in those pans untouched is truly a work of art and mesmerizing. And that's what this palette is. Like, honestly, it's just not going to, or at least my skill set is not going to be able to pick up on camera how sparkly and stunning these shadows look untouched. Like, it's like staring into, like, this one, for example, is like staring into the depth of the universe, truly. It is. Wow, like I gasped when I opened this. It Like I know that's dramatic, but it really took me by surprise. Cause if I'm honest, this color story, uh, I like it. It's beautiful. And I picked it up because I love the first palette, but it didn't draw me in like as much as the first palette. But when I opened this, I was like, I get it. I absolutely get it. Quick little description, brushed silver and glittering ore industrial 2.0 is a softer, subtler take on heavy metal. The slow patina of copper over time, the delicate gleam of alloyed steel featuring 14 richly pigmented iridescent eyeshadow shades from velvet metallics to crystalline pearl. Inspired by the earth's most precious metals, presented on Isamaya's signature industrial case, now in glossy chrome. You can apply them with fingers, blend with a brush, apply on eyes or paint on your face, amplify for mesmer mesmeric wet-like shine. The key benefits is extra glossy metallic sheen and shape shifting effect, mirror-like reflection and supremely bl blendable pigments mimic skin's own hydrolipidic film. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but that is the description. You know the drill if you have caught any of my eyeshadow palettes reviews before. We're gonna zoom out. I'm gonna do a full arm of swatches. I'm gonna swatch each individual shade on the back of my hand here, and then we will create a look together. I am that excited. I do not have time to do more than one look today though. I'm super sorry, but I will be doing more looks with this palette, don't you worry. So let's get into swatching.
Holy Dooley. That is the palette swatched out and I am gobsmacked at how impressive these shadows feel. And if you are someone that likes different textured metallics and different metallic type finishes in one palette and you like this color story, I think you'll probably like it. We still have to test it on the eyes, but like you've got these more like satin type metallics, not as dull as a normal satin, if you will, but like these are more of like a normalish satin type metallic. And then you have these like really intense cream metallic foiled shades that have a lot more pigment to them. And then you have these like suspended type glitter shades. And this shadow right here is the softest, smoothest, silkiest feeling shadow I have ever touched in my entire life. And I'm not even kidding. So this is mesmerizing. But as I was swatching this, I was like, ooh, I can see quite a few um, similarities between a few of these shades and my Pat McGrath Labs collection. So I'm going to also add in to this video comparing those shades against the motherships and the shades that I've got in mind. I will also put a side-by-side -side, um, swatch photo of the industrial one point or oh, just the first industrial versus this one. So like swatched out because I know there are some similar shades in these two, but they are actually quite different. This one's definitely a lot more grungy and this one as well has different textures. So same, they're same, same, but different in such interesting ways and textures and shades. I kind of have a shade for like nearly every single one of these in most of these palettes. I'm going to start with the purple and straight away what came to mind was the purple from Pat McGrath Labs. So normally I don't do this in the same video. It's going to be a longer video, but hopefully you guys don't mind. So let me swatch out. Now this isn't, this shade won't be as impactful as the Pat special shade because this is a blitz formula and it it really is quite special and this purple one definitely is more muted and more of a satin finish but the shades to me just look so similar see i mean i did such a bad job of swatching that first one i apologize they just so close right i mean the pat one is more intense because it's a special shade and it's more of like a softer formula like i said but yeah, the shade just instantly came to mind. This shade right here kind of reminds me of the silver out of Moonlit Seduction. So let's compare them. So this one is from the Isamea and then this one is from Pat. You can kind of already see the tone differences. So this is Isamea and then Pat. Yeah, so Pat's is a bit deeper though. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean for that to not be focusing on me. I have to zoom in a little bit. There we go. There you go. Hmm. They might be similar enough for you where you're like, oh, actually, I don't need this palette. Like the purpose of me just kind of comparing these shades is just so you guys have a reference point to potentially what you might already own in your collection um, versus like if you actually want this kind of thing. Hopefully that makes sense. This shade right here kind of reminds me a little bit of the VR Fire Opal from Bronze Seduction, but not, not fully. It is different. You can see this is a lot more gold and this has still got that lighter green to it. Oh God, they're beautiful out of both of them. Beautiful in their own right. This one feels like a Pat special shade, truly. Like, look at that. Wow, holy dooly. And then this is VR Fire Opal, so definitely different. My gosh, this truly does feel like a Pat special shade. This next shade here reminds me of the kind of bluey purple in Subversive. I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit too dark. I'm trying to keep it lower so that you can really get the impact of the sparkle. This feels like a Pat special shade too, but like even silkier and creamier. They, they honestly feel very similar. Oh wow, look at those. Oh my goodness. So this one's the Isamea. Yeah, God, this feels like such a Pat's shade. And then this is the Subversive. Subversive definitely has more pigment to it. The Isamea one is like a suspended glitter version of the Subversive one. Oh, wow, again, together, absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I don't actually have anything in the pack collection for this green, so we'll skip over that. And then we have this one here, which I'm pretty sure reminds me again of one out of 
bronze seduction because this has a slight green tint to it as i say that the pat one still has a bit more uh gold to it than green even but oh wow this feels like again a pat special shade look at them that's incredible truly incredible wow oh man i can't wait to put this on my lids this gold right here is truly something to touch, experience, and swatch, like holy dooly. So I think the closest one, it kind of reminds me of like this one from Divine Rose 2. But in saying that, this is like pure molten cream in a pan. Like this one does not feel the same. This one is like, this one isn't even special compared to this one, I'm telling you. Like it's insane. Look at that. I mean, they are close in shade, but this one, look, look at how molten and metallic that is crazy and then there's this one which honestly is such a similar shade but that texture and that finish like this pat special shade doesn't even look special compared to that top one. Oh, that's fire this one right here kind of reminds me of the copper out of midnight sun this one is a little bit more or a lot more suspended ish type glitterish but so is this one so let's see this one also has a little bit more red shift to it. And actually, in saying that, it also reminds me of um, the red special shade from Bronze Seduction as well. So let's swatch both of them. Okay, so this one's Isamaya. This one is the copper from, or the pumpkin-y color from Midnight Sun. And this is the red, the lighter red shade from Bronze Seduction. I mean, they look amazing. Let's swatch them. Oh, look at this. This again, seriously, guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm not just saying this. If I didn't like it, I'd tell you this feels like a Pat McGrath spe lab special shade, like her good quality formula that we've all been missing. That's what these feel like. Wow. Oh, I, you have to see them in person to really experience them. So this is Midnight Sun. And then this is Bronze Seduction. Same, same, but different, I guess. Oh man, I feel like this doesn't look as special on camera as what it looks like in real life. I wish I could like accurately depict it. Maybe it's like there, like mm, it is, wow. I'm not gonna compare the brown matte because it's a brown matte, but I will tell you that this formula feels pretty much almost the same as the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Matte formula. So if you like that, you'll, you'll like this formula. This one here, I think probably the closest one this reminds me of is actually two. There's this one from Moonlit Seduction, this lilac y color right here. And then there's also Astral Solstice from Midnight Sun, and it's also in Divine Rose 2 1. Apologies. So this one's is a Maya, the lilac from Moonlit Seduction, and then Astral Solstice. This one I think is probably just a lot more silver than the others. But gosh, if we're gonna compare formulas between Astral Solstice, that is a Maya one is probably the closest eyeshadow ever. If for anything, I actually think I like the Is Maya one better. I'm not even kidding. But they are such a similar formula. I don't really have anything for these two shades. I mean, they're not a special formula. They're just more of like a satiny metallic, so who cares anyway? This one is again, quite similar to the Copper from Midnight Sun but more red. This one is more like a glitter too. Like it really has some flake to it, which I'm sure you can see. I feel like if you wet your brush though, you could build this up to be quite intense. So they're pretty similar. Again, feels like a Pat special shade, I'm telling you. Lastly, we have this one and I just wish I could I wish you could feel this shadow through the screen because it's insane. It's like, wow. So I want to compare this one. This is in a whole other league on its own, this shadow. Like seriously, the feel of it. But um, to Subliminal, this one. And then also I figured we would do VR Sextasy from Moonlit. Oh wow, look at the three of them together. That is my kind of a shadow. Holy dooly. Okay, this is like makeup 
porn for me right now, seriously. <laughs> so this is the Isamaya. Seriously, you need to feel this shadow. It is so soft and silky. Oh my goodness. And then this is the special shade from Subliminal. And then this one is from Moonlit Seduction. It's almost like the two Pat McGrath Labs shadows had a baby with the Isamaya one. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, I love this. I am so excited to try these shadows. These are insane, you guys. Like I said, if I didn't like them or didn't think this, I wouldn't sell you because honestly, she has no idea who I am. I really don't care. Whoa, mind blown. Like, I want to bathe in every single one of these. So let's go ahead now and um, create a look because I, I need to put these on the eyes and test. I am that excited, but also overwhelmed because I have no idea what shades I want to, well, I want to use all of the shades is the issue and how I'm gonna make that work. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, Rare Beauty Eye Primer, it's, the lids are primed. I'll just stick to this palette, obviously, for a look today, but you can, like, if this intimidates you as it's all metallics mostly, you can just dip into other palettes with mattes that you wanna use and stuff like that. You don't have to just use this, but I will for today's sake. I think to begin with, what I'm actually gonna do is pick up a BKA 504 and I'll just dip a little bit into this dark brown, which is like, um, this is definitely like a cream to powder Lisa Eldridge velvet matte type vibe. It, it reminds me of the dark brown shade actually in um, Cinnabar from Lisa Eldridge. I'm just going to tap this lightly on this outer corner here to add a little bit of depth to begin with. I'll try and remember to link all of my first industrial palette videos below for you as well or at least the initial review and stuff so that you can compare them if you haven't seen that before um oh gosh i love that palette it is just amazing truly it really really is so i didn't pick up the wild star collection from Isamaya, by the way just because the color story wasn't really something i would gravitate towards but i was disappointed about it too because i genuinely want to collect most of her stuff it's Pretty phenomenal. I'm actually just gonna switch to this What's Up R102, just a slightly bigger, fluffier brush. And I'll start, I just wanna lift it a little bit in this outer corner here. Just wiggling. I mean, this is performing impeccably. I feel like you can tell. Let's just start with an easy shade. I'll dip into this one right here with a refer two. I don't have any intensifiers down. I would normally if this wasn't like a review, but for the sake of the review, I just won't. I'm just gonna tap this into this outer corner. Basically, I'm just gonna try and put as many colors on my lid right now as I can so that we can at least like see how each of these perform or like as many of them as perform. And I'll do, I'll probably do a three looks one palette I reckon with this for next week because it's just, I need to use all the shades. I mean that all over the lid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is like a denser metallic formula. Think like the copper shade or the purplish shade in um, Industrial One, that kind of a formula. It's absolutely beautiful. Ooh, that is chef's kiss truly i don't know how this is going to turn out but let's just wing it i'm going to take a, a refer number three and i'm going to pick up this incredible gold molten shade right now because i have to try it i'm going to try and run this along the lash line and one thing i think is the i love the most about Isamaya's palettes is they really inspire me to create different looks and try different things and i know any palette can do that but for some reason with Isamaya's, it really takes it to another level um, this shadow is amazing. Oh gosh, I love these, you guys. These are all, this is like, apart from these like satiny, like pastel metallic shades, honestly, the rest of these are Pat McGrath Lab special shades in one palette, I'm not even kidding. I think these are even better quality than her first palette, truly, so far. I'm actually gonna dip a little bit into this lilac purple now the refer to and I'll just pop that above where I put that other shade here that's really pretty too oh gosh 
Oh, that's amazing, you guys. Holy dooly. This looks insane on the eyes, whereas when you swatch this, you're like, okay. But wow, the way this performs on the eyes. Holy. Let's pick up a little bit more of that dark brown velvet matte and just lightly bring that forward here. And then I truly have no idea how this is going to look, but we're just going to honestly wing it. It's just makeup. We can wash it off. We're going to take this shadow right here with an R110. I just have to really try this shade today because it just is something I have never felt the texture before and it's impeccable. I'm just going to pop that in here and like kind of swoop it up in here. Oh, that's cool. I think I will tap a little bit of this shade right here, just like a fairy dusting over the purple, because why not? Oh, I should have done the white. Oh, anyway. Just a real scattered little dust. And then I'm actually just gonna go YOLO and do a slight little dusting of the white as well, because we are here and why the hell not? I am obsessed with these shadows. Picking up that refer three and going back into the gold shade. I'm just gonna bring that back in here. I'm gonna do a speed through of my base makeup now, and then we'll come back and finish these eyes up and I'll adjust anything I want to. I just need to see the rest of my makeup on. So let's do that. Base is done, but I haven't done my blush and highlight yet because I want to see how these eyes finish up. Now, I did put the Victoria Beckham Black Satin Kajal Liner in my top waterline. And let's figure out what the hell I'm going to do on this bottom waterline. Um, I will take the dark brown just on a little pencil brush. And I will just run that close to the lash line here. And then I've got this teeny tiny little R triple one brush like this. And I think I will go into, give me a second. What am I going to go into? I'm going to go into this light green shade actually with it and pop that under here. Just a teeny hint of it. I think I'll just go into this smallest touch of this light blue for the inner corner, like just a baby touch to add a little brightness but I don't necessarily want the color to be like too impactful and I will just pop that up here too yeah perfect okay I what liner am I gonna put in the bottom 
lash line is what's stumping me a little bit. I'm actually going to put this dark green from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, Green Lights Matte. I'm just going to pop that a little bit in this lower waterline. Let me pop my Victoria Beckham Lash Mascara on. Look how intensely beautiful these shades are. Highlighter, I'm gonna take the Say Super Glowy Gel because it has like no color in it at all. Let's pick this up on my sponge. Tap that here. I'm going to take this Perfect Pink from Mario. This is the new blush veil. Just on a Real Techniques blush. And just put a kiss of that little color here. Then I'm going to take Venusian Sunrise from Pat. And set that. I need setting spray. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. For lips, I'm going to go Lively from Rare Beauty for the lip liner. And then I'm going to go Dolce Vita from NARS, the Sensual Shines. This might not be, this might be too deep. Mm, no, that's not quite right. I'm just going to also put Dancing Rose from Lisa on. Yeah, let me go and figure out hair and everything, and then we will zoom out and wrap this up. All right, I think this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I mean, look, is this a look that I would just like put together on the everyday? No, I really did want to showcase as many of the shadows as I could today. Um, but am I actually happy with how this is pulled together? You bet your bottom dollar. Am I going to work like this? You bet your bottom dollar. Uh, this is amazing, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Like, if you like the first one, you'll like this one probably a little, maybe not, depending on the color story for you, right? But like formula wise, this is even better than the first industrial palette. So many of these shades feel like Pat McGrath Lab special shades to me. And look, I don't know if that's just my opinion, but they do. They're just insane. They're insane. I cannot wait to do a three looks on palette with this. It's like, I can't wait to use all of these shades. This is so inspiring, so beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Now everyone's value of a dollar is different. You do as you wish, but clearly I'm very impressed and infatuated with it. So, but you know, you do as you wish. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. Have you picked the palette up? Are you gonna think of, pick, or are you thinking of picking the palette up? All of that jazz, you know, I wanna hear from you down below, pretty please. And uh, if you're watching till this point, you know you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.